In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. This is my day. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. That is Wednesday, the 29th of November, 2023, 34th week in ordinary time, the last week in ordinary time and participating in the proclamation of the word of god for today are the following daily bread members damaris chungu mapani celebrating her 47th birthday today from chililawombwe zambia takes for us the first reading paul jr and anino anave from Kaduna, Nigeria, celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary today, take for us the responsorial psalm, and proclaiming the gospel is Father Ben Chola Chama, a Komoni missionary who celebrated his birthday yesterday working in Kampala, Uganda. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, the fingers of a man's hand appeared and wrote on the wall. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Daniel chapter 5, verse 1 to 6, 13 to 14, 16 to 17, and 23 to 28. In those days, King Belshazzar made a great feast for a thousand of his lords and drank wine in front of the thousand. Belshazzar, when he tasted the wine, commanded that the vessels of gold and of silver which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken out of the temple in Jerusalem be brought, that the king and his lords, his wives, and his concubines might drink from them. Then they brought in the golden and silver vessels which had been taken out of the temple, the house of God in Jerusalem, And the king and his lords, his wives and his concubines drank from them. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and silver, bronze, iron, wood and stones. Immediately the fingers of a man's hand appeared and wrote on the plaster of the wall of the king's palace, opposite the lampstand, and the king saw the hand as it wrote. Then the king's color changed, and his thought alarmed him. His limbs gave way, and his knees knocked together. Then Daniel was brought in before the king. The king said to Daniel, You are that Daniel, one of the exiles of Judah, whom the king, my father, brought from Judah. I have heard of you that the spirit of the Holy Ghost is in you, and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom are found in you. I have heard that you can give interpretations and solve problems. Now, if you can read the writings and make known to me its interpretations, you shall be clothed with paper and have a chain of gold about your neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Then Daniel answered before the king, 
Let your gift be for yourself and give your reward to another. Nevertheless, I will read the writing to the king and make known to him the interpretation. You have lifted up yourself against the Lord of heaven, and the vessels of his house have been brought in before you, and you and your lords, your wives and your concubines have drank wine from them, and you have praised the gods of silver and gold, of bronze, iron, wood and stones, which do not see or hear or know, but the God in whose hand is your breath, and whose are all yours, you have not honored. Then from the presence the hand was sent, and this is the writing that was inscribed, many, many, take care and passing. This is the interpretation of the matter, many. God has numbered the days of your kingdom and brought it to an end. Check here. You have weighed in the balances and found wanting. Paris, your kingdom is divided and given to the maids and patients. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm The Responsorial Psalm is taken from Daniel chapter 3 verse 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. The response is taken from Daniel chapter 3, verse 40b. And the response is, Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt, highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt, highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, sun and moon. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt, highly exalt Him forever. Bless the Lord, stars of heaven. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt, highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, all rain and dew. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt, highly exalt Him forever. Bless the Lord, all winds. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt Him forever. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt, highly exalt Him forever. Bless the Lord fire and heat. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Sing praise to him and highly exalt, highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord. Winter cold and summer heat. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. 
Sing praise to Him and highly exalt, highly exalt Him forever. Sing praise to Him and highly exalt, highly exalt Him forever. The Gospel Acclamation Revelations chapter 2 verse 10c Hallelujah 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 Amen Be faithful unto death, says the Lord, and I will give you the crown of life. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Luke chapter 21, verses 12 to 19. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, They will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you'll be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. This will be a time for you to bear testimony. Settle it therefore in your minds, not to meditate beforehand how to answer, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be delivered up even by parents and brothers and kinsmen and friends, and some of you they will put to death. You will be hated by all for my name's sake. But not a hair of your head you perish. By your endurance, you gain your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After Jesus finishes talking about the temple and how it was going to be destroyed, he now turns to the disciples and tells them the atrocities that will follow after the destruction of the temple. Not just after the destruction of the temple, but even before that they were going to be persecuted. A lot of terrible things happened to Christians here in Rome. And if you go around trying to listen to the guides telling you how Christians were used even as torches for barbecue at night, they were being burnt alive to provide light for Rome. And that brought a lot of fear in the lives of believers. And Jesus knew all these things were going to happen. And so he started now encouraging the believers and telling them, you know what? God is aware of anything and everything that you go through. Please don't give up on your faith. Remain steadfast, be enduring, because by your endurance, you will gain your lives. When you don't give up on something because it is tough, you are going to have more life given to you by God. I know you are about to give up. There are a lot of things that are making you want to give up on your own life. Don't give up. God is saying something big is coming in your life. Maybe I should speak tenderly. Maybe I should whisper into your ears to let you understand that what you are going through is only for a while. God wants to call you a hero in. God wants to call you a hero Please endure. Something big is coming your way. He's telling us not a hair of your head will perish because God cares for you. 
He will hear you. He will listen to you. Just remain steadfast. Trust in him and understand that he has power to deliver you from whatever you are going through. James chapter 5 verse 13 says, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Mind you, whatever you are going through is out to make you strong. Whatever you are experiencing, as long as it doesn't kill you, it will strengthen you and it will make your relationship with your God even stronger. So keep enduring. Remain steadfast. God is going to take you out of your situation. Remember what Psalm 107 verse 6 says, Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He would deliver you from your distress. I just do not want you to look like a coward. You are not a coward. You are a soldier. And I know you can face all that you are going through with fortitude. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Wednesday to you. Thanks be to God. This is my daily bread. Your very word. Spoken to me and I I'm desperate for you and I This is the air I breathe.